at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a brand label and a size label onto a shirt. Yes, you're going to need two things. The first is going to be the brand label. The second is going to be the size label. Before you start sewing onto the shirt, you're going to have to first sew the size label onto the brand label. You have to make sure they stick together like this. You're going to have to gather up your thread in order to start sewing up the label. And you're going to have to insert the bobbin into the sewing machine. We're going to stick these two together. Since both items use black thread, we're going to use a black thread in sewing them together. So we drag both the both labels to the sewing machine and we then insert the needle in order to start sewing them together. Now we start we start sewing it forward up to the end. Then we also reverse like sew backwards. again just to make sure it's properly locked in and we take it out and we cut it up now we have the label sewed together so we get like the cutting thing and we start cutting up the loose ends now it's ready now the goal is to put the, the newly attached label on the neck so what we do is we get up the seam reaper and then we start cutting off whatever is the, the current label on the neck. So you try to cut out the, the current label and you make sure you don't cut up the whole part of the neck, just a little bit more than what is already currently there. Now that that's set, we can now attach the label onto the shirt just to see how it's gonna look like. You place it up in. And that should be fine. Now that's how we want it to be when we sew it together. This time we're going to switch the thread from black to white since we're going to be sewing onto a white shirt. So now we're going to see how to sew the label onto the shirt. We're going to drag the shirt onto the sewing machine. Now you drag the shirt towards you and you insert the needle in and you start sewing it forward. You try to make sure you sew it a little bit more across the label and then you start reversing. And you bring it back forward. Now what you do, you try to you make sure you don't take the needle out of the shirt. You leave the needle in and you just readjust the shirt so you sew downwards towards the label, towards the size label. Insert the needle back in and you drop the thing down and then you start sewing forward. Do a little quick reverse just so everything stays in. And do it back forward again. Now you can take the needle out, but you're gonna make sure you do it on the other side. The same thing on the other side. Same thing you did on the first one, you're gonna do it on the other side. So you take the needle out and then you cut the thread on the side of the sewing machine. Now you insert it back and repeat the same motion on the opposite side of the label. Insert the needle in. And then you sew forward.
take it out again and cut it on the side or with the scissors. Now you sewn the shirt, the, the label, the woven label and the size label onto the shirt. Now everything, you can just see like a little bit threads hanging out. What you do, you just get the seam ripper and you start ripping off the threads. After ripping everything, you see that you have everything sewed perfectly. So the white thread lands on the white shirt and you do that just so that the back of the shirt doesn't, you know, the thread matches the back of the shirt, you know, and everything just looks clean and neat and yeah.